how to make gravity in Scratch the easy way. The first thing we will want to do is bring out a change y by block. Set it to something like negative 6. This works as gravity and just moves our cat down by 6 pixels, but you need to click this block over and over again to see the real effects. So to keep our gravity constantly working, wrap a forever loop over the block. Hit the script and you will see our cat falling down. But this doesn't look very smooth, so let's fix that. To do this, we need to make a new variable that will keep track of our player's speed. So make a new variable and name it yvel. vel stands for velocity, and velocity is another word for speed. Now instead of changing our y by negative 6, change it by yvel. Additionally, before our change y by block, we need a change yvel by negative 1 block. Although it may look complicated, the way that these two scripts work is actually pretty simple. Let me explain. Our gravity has two main components. The first one is the change yvel by negative 1 block. This block doesn't do anything by itself. Instead, it stores the player's speed for later use. The second component is the change y by yvel block. This script is the script that is in charge of actually moving our cat, and the speed of the cat is determined by the change yvel by negative 1 block. Finally, add a go to 0, 0 block and a set yvel to 0 block outside the forever loop. Click our script and we now have smooth gravity. You could stop here if you like, but this code is still lacking a few things. One of those things is collisions. So let's make collisions. So bring out an if condition and inside of the if condition, put a touching ground block. Next, bring out a change y by block and put a multiplication block inside the slot. For the first value in the multiplication block, put the variable yvel. And for the second value, put negative one. The last thing that we need to do is add a set yvel to zero block. These scripts we just made, check if our player is in the ground. And if it is, we get pushed out. If you want a more in-depth explanation, you can check out this video when you're done watching this one. Okay, let's add one final thing bring out an if condition and a key up arrow press block. Inside of our if condition, put a set yvel to 12 block. Now test our scripts and we can also jump. Oh yeah, I think that you'll like this playlist that contains a bunch of tutorials like the one you are watching right now. So consider checking it out.